Alrighty, well there's Rocky up there on his pillow, having a nice sleep. We had a good cuddle session earlier. I um, combed Rocky's fur out, took a big clump of dead fur out of him. I do that on a regular basis. So that helps a little bit for him with his fur balls and stuff. Um, there he is licking himself. Anyway, um, uh, as you know, as you may know if you watch my videos, I'm one of those crazy conspiracy theorists. I actually believe that there's a bunch of people in high places who are actively out to get us. Um, and I'm going, I'm going to explain something to you. I'm going to explain the, the logic or the rationale behind my saying that. Uh, many of these people have published their plans about what they have what they have planned for us in terms of uh, You know putting us into um, stack and pack type smart cities where we'll be under surveillance and so on um, They're interfering with agriculture food fuel, etc. They're using um, the green agenda as, as the reasoning for that But that's pretty much been proven false you know, I mean, the Earth, Earth does go through a cyclical thing where climate changes, but it, it's not a man-made thing like it's being made out to be. Um, and it's not as serious as they're making it out to be either. And that's pretty much been proven at this point. But here's the thing. Uh, people like Bill Gates and Klaus Schwab many of the high many high-ranking politicians all over the world and industrialists and other people like that have said that we need to have a 90 percent decrease 90 to 95 percent decrease in the population of the earth by the year 2030. now okay let's say that they're not going to do a mass call that they're just going to let it happen by attrition um, even if there were no new births, so even if we'll say we practice birth control perfectly, anybody who's sexually active, and so there was no, no pregnancies, which meant no new births, or even if we say everybody just stopped having sex. So there were, if obviously, if, if everybody on earth who's have, who, who is sexually active now stopped having sex, then there'd be no more no more births, which means there'd be no no new people added. So all we'd have is we'd have a decrease in the population over time, because of course, even if no new people are being born, those of us who are already here are going to die off. So it would be a case of of um, population reduction through attrition. Even then, are we going to lose ninety five percent of the people? 90 to 95 percent of the people we have now just through accident violence disease and old age if if they if, if we're not interfered with in any way if we just die whenever we'll die you know if we just have people dying because they become a victim of domestic abuse or they become a victim of a robbery or because they're in a car accident or in an industrial accident or because they get sick or because they get old. Um, chances are, by the year 2030, we're still going to have most of our population, really, because that's only like six years away now at this point. So even if no new people are added to the mix, it doesn't make any sense that we're going to have a 90 to 95 percent reduction in the population through attrition alone. Um, they're going to interfere with us. They're going to have to. I mean, if I was a farmer and I had a hundred cows in my field and I said, by this time next year, I want to only have 10 cows in my field. Now, I can not bring the bull in to breed any cows, so I won't have any new cows added to the mix. I won't have any calves born. So the population of cows in my field is not going to go up. And if I let them die out by attrition, 
Um, I'm, I'm, I'll probably lose a few to disease and to accident and, you know, to predators and stuff like that. But if I have a hundred cows and my goal is to get down the ten cows in a year, I'm pretty much going to have to take the rifle out to the field and start picking off cows. That's the only way that's going to work. Because if I have a hundred cows now and my goal is to have ten cows by this time next year, Unless I start picking them off or loading up the stock truck and taking them to the slaughterhouse. Um, you know, unless I pick them off with the rifle or take them to the slaughterhouse. Then maybe instead of having a hundred cows next year, by this time next year. Well, maybe I'll have 97 cows or 95 cows or something. I'm still going to have a lot more cows than I intend to have. Unless I do something drastic unless I actually intentionally call the herd. And see, that's that's the way that people like me think. That's the reason. Because we look at what's being said by these people who are in authority and who are actually making policies. Who are actually making health policies and who are actually making economic policies and who are actually in the position to declare war or to have influence over those who are in a position to make those decisions and look our prime minister Justin Trudeau he's heavily influenced by Klaus Schwab and the World Economic Forum I'm Joe Biden the US president's another one um, Klaus Schwab was recently overheard in a conversation with the French president saying that those dissidents, those people who don't go along with the program, have to be sent to camps. That's a German citizen talking about sending people to camps. That doesn't sound good. You know, like that, that, that's a major problem. Anyway, bottom line is, to my way of thinking, they do intend to interfere with us in a very direct way. They are actively trying to kill us. I don't see how I can see it any differently than that, really. Based upon what they're saying and based upon what they're doing, uh, it just doesn't add up to anything other than that, you know. And they're going to do what I think a lot of it's going to be done just through deprivation and starvation. They're already de denying people like me who they consider dissidents. They're already denying us medical treatment. And they're already making food and heat and, and, and so on, all those resources, uh, a lot more expensive so that fewer and few, fewer and fewer people can afford them. Well, if you don't have food, you die. If you don't have heat in the wintertime, if you're living in a northern climate, you die. If you don't have heat, you know. Um, they're just creating a lot of hardship, and they're doing it on purpose. This isn't by accident that all this is happening. You know, um, the people who run the economy are not stupid people. I, I, I used an analogy one time when I was explaining it to my mother, and I'll use that analogy here. If you look at a bus driver who's been a bus driver for a long time, he's been a bus driver for decades, that guy knows his business. He knows driving a bus. He knows his bus's limits, and he knows his bus's capabilities. If that guy suddenly starts to do things, well, let's say he's the guy running the economy. And let's say the passengers are us. Okay, we're the people affected by the economy. Um, if that bus driver one day starts to do really erratic things and wild things with his bus, and starts doing things with his bus that are beyond the bus's capabilities then there's really only a few possibilities. It isn't that he doesn't know that what he's doing is, is, is going to cause an accident and that people are going to be hurt. Um, what it is is he's either lost his mind, he's either gone insane, or he's doing it intentionally for some reason. He intends to hurt his passengers for some reason. But it isn't that he suddenly doesn't know his business. It isn't that he suddenly doesn't know how to drive his bus. 
unless he has had some episode in his mind and he's lost his mind. But that'd be the only way you could possibly say that this guy, say, with 40 years' experience driving a bus, suddenly doesn't understand how his bus works anymore. So it's the same sort of thing. The people running the economy are not fools. Um, they know what they're doing. Anyway, um, you know, bad economy, because we're so dependent on the economy, a bad economy means death for a lot of us. And they know that. Anyway, bottom line is this has been